know me up, roll up, up, up. What up, though? So, I'm about to go work out. <clears throat> Your girl is tired, boss. I'm not really tired. I'm about to go work out, though. My car smells like a man. I need to go get it detailed. I've been saying that for how long? Still ain't did it. Hold out here now. What's going on with y'all? Now, I feel like the only thing I get on here and say is, yo, I'm about to go work out. Now every day I say, I'm getting up at about 7, 8 o'clock and get in that gym. Girl, bye. I woke up at 8 today. Now I did good with the waking up part. I woke up at 8 and then um, I meditated. Then I went back to sleep, baby. I went back to sleep, baby. I was trying to focus on the meditation, but my mind was wondering so bad. I need to start doing it every day again and get my mind back on track just in general. But yeah, I meditated with my Headspace app. Y'all know I love Headspace. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite things. So yeah, I meditated for, I gotta go back to 10 minutes cause I used to be able to do 20 minutes, but then I stopped doing it. So I gotta work my way back up. I did 15 minutes and I feel like it was the longest time of my life. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but I'm gonna start doing 10 minutes a day starting Sunday. Me and my family are doing another challenge. So, I don't know, because I like to eat fish at least every day. I don't want to not eat no, I, want, I don't want to eat veggies all day, because I be hungry. And I don't like to feel limited, so I think I'm going to just do my own version of it, but still keep up with what they doing. I just want to eat healthy. And then I'm going to yeah, incorporate me some protein shakes or something. I need to get me a blender and get some um, protein. Y'all gave me some good suggestions for protein, but I think it's this one I really want to try from GNC. And then I wanted to get this pre-work. Well, I ain't gotta get no pre-workout, but I do want to get this um protein. That's what I really want to get. So yeah. So I, right after I come from the gym, I can make me a smoothie or something. Put me some veg, some fruit. I'm talking about some fruit vegetables. Put some fruit and put some smoothie, some protein powder. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure that out now. But I got a question for y'all. So, if you dating somebody, I want to know y'all thoughts on this. If you're dating someone, or if you have a partner, like, or if you're talking to somebody, how often do you think you should talk to that person? I want to know. Do you think it should be, like, they should check in throughout the day? Or do you feel like, okay, I'll be busy, they be busy. At least call me, see how I'm doing for the day. Or say good morning, say good evening. You know what I'm saying? Or do you feel like if they call once a day at the end of the day, they cool back? Or if they don't call at all, I'm cool. Let me know down below what y'all thoughts are on that. Because I feel like even if I'm busy and even if you busy, we should be checking in throughout the day. Like, Or like you should at least be saying, hey, good morning. You know, I hope you have a good day today, something. And then about midday when you go on your lunch break or whatever the case may be you should be saying something or you could text all day because the phone is open all day to text um i just believe that people prioritize what they want to prioritize and if you're not a priority they don't give no fuck and they call you when they want to call you or they call you at the end of the night when they about to go to bed or they call you in the middle of the day and don't call no more like i think people prioritize what they want to prioritize and at some point you have to be honest with yourself, right? I always tell you that. You got to be honest with yourself. Like, I believe we can attract what it is that we want. But if you don't know what it is that you want, then how do you attract that thing? So, you have to really think about, okay, do I want a man that just think he ain't got to call me all day? Because I think that's unhealthy. I ain't going to lie. If you feel like that's cool, that's you. <laughs> I ain't like nobody. That feel like that's cool. I ain't trying to talk a shit. I ain't saying that's dumb. I ain't saying none of that. If you feel comfortable with your man or your woman calling you once a day, that's fine. For me, that's not going to work for me. Like, if I'm talking to somebody, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, that's not going to work for me. And I ain't saying we got to sit on the phone and have no long 45-minute conversation. Every time we get on the phone, we can have that towards the end of the day. But I do feel like I do feel like I um want to have some type of 
hey I, how your day going you, did you have a good day today um good morning I, i'm gonna need that about you sir because i don't know i always feel like we make time for what we want to make time for no matter how busy i have ever been or how overwhelmed i have ever felt I always made time for what the fuck I wanted to make time for. Whether that was a man, whether that was work, whatever that may be. You see what I'm saying? You prioritize your day based off of what's important to you. Period. And people can say, I had so much work to do, I couldn't do blah, 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 blah. It take you two seconds to send a text message. It take you two seconds to say, good morning, hey, you on my mind, I'm, I got a busy day today, but just wanted to know I was thinking about you, just wanted to know. You ain't got that to give. I don't got nothing to give because I just feel like at this point I told y'all I can go find I, somebody will come that does what I want them to do. That just tell me what that is, and that may be sounding like controlling and shit. But I'm not gonna be treated any less than. Like I'm just not gonna do that. So yeah, <laughs> that's my little rant for today. But let me know down below what y'all thoughts are on that because I know some people. I know some somebody that was like they don't gotta talk to their person every day. But they had realized that they learned that from a previous relationship and they were that way because that's how the person treated them. Not necessarily that they wanted to be treated that way. They had just become accustomed to it because the person had treated them like that. So what, and I want to ask you, what things have you taken from relationships that are just not fucking good? Like not normal, not healthy, and you have made them your normal. You have told yourself, yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. I really got slapped in the motherfucking face the other day because I had suppressed all these emotions about this person that I used to deal with. I'm talking about every hurtful thing they have ever done to me. I suppressed it and act like it never happened and act like, oh yeah, I was up on this high horse and don't nothing bother me. Then things happen or you start to snap and you're like, why am I snapping? Why am I tripping? Why am I doing this? And it's because you have suppressed all of these emotions. You never dealt with the emotions to begin with. You have made things your norm and they are should not be your norm because they are not normal. <laughs> In a healthy relationship, this shit is not normal. People have hurt you. People have done this to you and you sitting up there talking about, yeah, I mean, that don't bother me. I know, I know what it is. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ask yourself, what the fuck have you suppressed? I promise you it's something. I promise you it's going to show up, baby. It's going to show up. You're going to be like, damn. You know, it, it, it may not even show up the way you think it's going to show up. Like, you may think you fine and dandy. And then a person do something and it trigger you. And you like, oh, he got me effed up. Da, 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 da. You blowing up his phone. You doing this. You doing crazy shit. Before you know it, you done motherfucking rolled liar on the side of his car. And um knocked his windows out. It escalates. When you try to suppress shit. Feel whatever it is. Somebody hurts you, feel it. Heal it. One of my subscribers said, she healed it. She ached and then she heals it when it comes to soul ties. But I feel like they can go into anything. Ache and then heal it. Okay? But feel that pain. Like, that really hurt me. It's okay to say something hurt you. It's okay to be angry at something. You don't have to hold, you don't have to be acting like you so cool, so calm, collected. Don't nothing hurt you. You tough Tommy. No, ma'am. All right, it's 10 minutes, y'all. I gotta go. But this ain't no, like, content video. Y'all know I be brand. But for real, I just want you to really, like, think about that because some things we have adapted and put into re new relationships and tell them, and you see him looking crazy because you telling these people that you dating, oh, I don't, oh, like, for instance, we're gonna use the, I ain't gotta talk to you every day. Oh, I don't care if you call me every day. We can talk once a week. Ma'am, that don't even sound right, ma'am. That don't even sound right to me. I don't think that's help. Like, if you dating somebody, you know what I'm saying? At least check in. I ain't saying, like I said, I'm not saying be on the phone 45 hours. But at least check in. At least see what's going on with them. At least work. you ain't worried about they date nothing. You telling people this. Now you look crazy. People looking at you like you crazy. Like, what? What you said? Don't call you everywhere. Oh, how she say that? Do she even like me? Do she even... Damn, she said don't call her every day. Like, what? Like, I want to call her every day. <clears throat> we got to deal with these issues, bro. Okay. 
this is gonna be too long but all right i'm about to go but deal with the issues figure out what you're suppressing if you can't figure it out you'll be triggered into figuring out so. what's up y'all what's going on excuse my hair y'all know i've been working out so my shit is sweated out i just look tired in the face excuse that as well but what's up it is saturday and i am sitting here i'm about to get ready to get in the car because i am doing something that i am so fucking afraid to do i am so afraid like i am like literally shaking in my boots but i said alexis try something different you may actually like this we're not gonna say that you're not gonna like it you're not gonna know if you don't try it now as you can see from the title i am getting my eyebrows microbladed today one of my people that i follow on instagram she goes to my church as well um i never met her at church or nothing we just started following each other on instagram and we we conversate like in dms all the time she cool as fuck but she was she asked me to be one of her models for her microblading class now the girl that is teaching her does a really good job and the brows really do look natural and i've gone back and forth about this because y'all know i'm indecisive i've gone back and forth literally for probably like two or three days and i'm like oh my god 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 but i'm gonna do it so i'm scared as hell I'm not going to sit here and lie because I just don't like stuff like this because every time I go to get my eyebrows done in Georgia, I feel like no one can do them right. Only one lady can do them right and she charges like $30. So, I just let my, I've just been letting my eyebrows grow until I go to back home to Detroit to get them waxed. But, today I'm letting them clean them up and they're going to do microblading on my brows. If you don't know what microblading is, it is a semi-permanent procedure that you know you can have for up to one to three years and i am scared as hell because this is like kind of permanent because i will have this on my eyebrow for one year i don't know if mine gonna last that long though because my body is just weird and it rejects shit when they want to reject it so it may not even last that long for me but we're gonna see how i like it when i get it done it does have a it does have a process so We'll discuss the process after I do get them done. I will record a little bit so y'all can see. In case y'all was thinking about getting microblading or micro shade and wanted to see. I'm going to let y'all know if it hurt or not. Because I told her I'm not, I don't do well with pain. She said it's going to be numb so it just feels like a tug. Like you're going to feel pressure. Perfect. Because I don't do well with pain, baby. I don't like tattoos because of pain. So if I feel some pain, you might have to use a different model. Because I don't know. But... <laughs> hopefully everything works out hopefully it just goes well y'all just pray my strength in the lord okay that's so funny i don't even talk like that but that's just funny but oh yeah i'm so scared well we about to make our way there my appointment is at 4 30 and we're gonna get rid of these brows that i got the camera need to focus up here we're gonna get rid of these brows as you can see my brows are i haven't even cleaned them up i didn't touch them at all this one looked like, I don't know, because I didn't want to really mess this one up, so I haven't touched them. She said they will razor them before they start. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and go to the appointment. I'm excited, but I'm scared. Let's do it. All right, y'all. We about to go in here. I got to get my brush for my hair because, no, ma'am. Because they be putting that little thing on your head. I saw it up on the Instagram, and my hair can't be looking crazy. I'm gonna put my brush in my purse. I am burning up. I don't know if I'm burning up because a bitch is nervous or what's going on, but I'm hot. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get it popping. So Arlene is practicing, girl. She showed me what she done practiced, so <laughs> she did good. She did good. But y'all know I'm still nervous, but <laughs> it's cool. We're gonna do good. She nervous right along with me, so. Mm -hmm. Get numb, yes, she's okay. getting numb. numb. Okay, so first thing that I do is I just kind of take it. I always go in the middle of her forehead. I wipe the eyebrow. I always wipe right here. Let me see if that phone is here. Maybe the music's kind of loud, so sorry. Okay, 
I always wipe right here next to their hairline because right here we don't necessarily have pores so all the oil and everything that's in her hair is gonna mess with this part of her eyebrow that's why if you ever notice you guys put makeup on and that part is the first part to go on your mm -hmm. eyebrow so I always make sure that I always clean on this side of the area with my alcohol pad just to make sure that everything is nice and clean your skin is amazing thank you everybody like that girl. you do thank you <laughs> all right so after i have done that i'll let that sit you know just to kind of dry i always use a q-tip now when i use this q-tip i'm not going to use this same side for that side i'll either flip it or i'll just get a brand new q-tip okay i take my numbing cream that you have that has lovely lidocaine in it and i just kind of place it on there now here's one thing I don't do. I don't swipe it back and forth. I want it to be thick on her brows because I want it to absorb in her skin. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Okay. After I have done that then i will go through and take my plastic i'm going to do one side usually i would just take one whole piece and then put it right there but since i'm only going to do one side i'm just going to take a little bit and i usually do it like on their face because it just works better when you rip it you see how it bends up like that i'm just going to take it set it here on this side usually i keep it in the box but my box is actually retarded and then i set it there just like that. After I set that and I make sure I like that. How did I lose my? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right here. Mm -hmm. I take my little hair net part, pull it, open it, set it right there on top of her head. I'll let her sit for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let you come do this side. Yep. So you can kind of get a feel of it. And okay. then she will numb for 30 minutes and then we'll start getting started. Oh Lord! <laughs> 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 Excited? Yeah. You'll feel it tingling a little bit. A You're little gonna bit. be like, oh, I feel it tingling. I feel like this. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. so you have your brows microbladed mm -hmm. too? Yeah. I do. I just wear a lot of makeup. Okay. <laughs> they look good though. Thank you. Yes, they look good. They look good. Yes. So they drew the eyebrows out, y'all. Yeah, they look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm a little <laughs> nervous, but we got, they, got, they got me. They got me. They got me. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Can you have my phone right there if you don't mind? You're welcome, girl. What happened to the other girl that you was going to do it? She already had microbladed before. Oh, you did say she mm -hmm. had it before. You was like, you ain't want to do her. No, I was like, just in case. I can't really do it. This is my favorite one, though. Mm -hmm. I can tell this, this, this yeah. is my favorite one, too. That's her naturally arched one. Yeah. Now yeah. That one brow that's like, you did you good. Yeah, yeah, you did good. You. you did good. They look so good, y'all. I'm so happy to have That's it. And then, yeah, and then I just okay, it down, but you don't have to do your fine. Now, this one, one is a little, little swollen. They had to fill it in a little more because this is my, like, left brow with the less hair. But it looks really good. And this is just the foundation, so when I come back for the touch up, if we need to fix anything, we'll fix it. Yeah, I love them. Yes. I can't wait till they heal. No, they're gonna get darker as they heal. I know. The first few days. Yeah. 
Yes, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. 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 I'm going to show y'all how my brows look when I lay down. This one is overdrawn a little bit to me, but it's because this one has less hair than this one, so she had to overdraw it to match it. She said that when you first get your brows done, this is just the first, like, basically the, the first base, basically, first time. It's kind of like when you get your nails done. Every time when I get my nails done, I never liked them initially, and then when I get the feel, I like them more. So this is just basically like the blueprint, kind of. And then you can go in and change it and touch it up the next time you get them touched up, which will be like in four, in four weeks. So I still like them though, but they're gonna get darker than this. And yeah, they dark now. Nah, look how dark they are. And they swollen. But I like them, I mean, you can't knock it. I might need to learn how to do them for real, for real. But I don't know, I'm too damn scary. I'm scared, so I don't know about that, but we'll see. My pizza looks so good. It's a barbecue chicken pizza. Doesn't my pizza look so good? It's a barbecue chicken pizza. Y'all, now, I'm feeling like self-conscious about my brows now. Um, I'm going to keep y'all updated throughout the vlog because the healing process is very hard. They said, I've been watching some little reviews on YouTube. I'm about to get ready to edit this video that I need to edit. I feel like this brow does not match the other one. But I may just be tripping. But, I don't know. When I go up high like this, I feel like it kind of does. But I feel like this one is a little thicker. But... When they heal, they should be fine. But I know the healing process is going to be a bit much. And they said I can't go to the gym. And I don't know about that. Because. Uh, I'm going to be devastated. If I can't go to the gym. I don't know. People on live said they like them. They look good. So, y'all know I just be tripping. But I'm about to get ready to edit this Lex Talk video. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sleepy at all. I was drinking me some wine and chilling. I was a, I did get a little tired, but I was like, you need to get your ass up and edit that video. So, it's Saturday. And Saturday night. Well, it's actually Sunday now. And yeah, I wanted to come on here and show y'all my brows. They said they're going to get... So the second day, they will get extremely dark, and then they have to heal. So some pieces may be missing. May be missing. They're going to be really bold. I kind of want them to go down a little bit because I feel like this one kind of doesn't match the other one. That's just what I'm feeling like. But maybe I'm just tripping. So we're going to see after they heal. I'm really not really self-conscious about it because I always feel like I can um, fix them myself like with some concealer. I can't wear makeup or s let me see how many days she said. I'm not supposed to go to the gym. That's the first step. I'm not supposed to go to the gym. And huh. No makeup for eight days. Don't wet them for the first week. Apply Aquaphor when you feel it getting tight. Change your pillowcase and try not to sleep on your face and don't touch them for the first week. I don't know y'all. I'm like kind of freaking out about my brows. <laughs> because I think one of them doesn't match. I'm trying to keep calm though. I said I could fix it but... They don't match to me. This one is totally different from this one. This one is too big at the front part. <sighs> okay. 
גם קיירה.